As the daughter of two prosperous Hong Kong immigrants, Jubilation Lee was born and raised in California. She attended an exclusive school in Beverly Hills, where she discovered her great talent for gymnastics. Jubilee first discovered her mutant power to generate fireworks of explosive, blinding energy while fleeing the safety of the mall. The stress of running away from the guards caused Jubilee to emit a large burst of light energy while in an alley. This completely disoriented the men and allowed the frightened young woman to escape. Her life changed completely in one night, when her parents died in a mysterious car accident, leaving Jubilee with no one to turn to. Jubilee was then sent to an orphanage, but she escaped and hid in a Hollywood shopping mall. Frustrated by the young woman's rebellious nature and her powerful light shows, mall security hired mutant hunters, known as the M-Squad, to capture her. Jubilee tried to fight and was captured. Luckily, Dazzler, Psylocke, Rogue, and Storm saved her. Feeling intrigued by her rescuers, the young woman followed them to a portal. The portal took her to the X-Men base in Australia where she hid without being discovered. The mutant gateway found her and the two became friends, so she decided to keep her presence inside the base a secret. Jubilee took several X-Men clothing items to create a makeshift costume for herself. Some time later, the Reavers took the base and left Wolverine badly injured. Jubilee rescued him and cared for him until he was completely healthy. Together they traveled to Hong Kong where they discovered that the Mandarin and the criminal group known as the Hand had taken over the city. While investigating, they were attacked by Lady Mandarin, who was actually Psylocke, after her mind was transferred into the body of the villainous Quanon. After learning that mutants were under attack on the island nation of Genosha, the trio headed there and reunited with the rest of the X-Men to stop Cameron Hodge. Upon returning to the United States, Jubilee joined Storm, Wolverine, Psylocke, Forge, Banshee, and Gambit as a member of the X-Men. The senior members tried to keep her away from missions due to her young age, which upset her. When Wolverine was kidnapped by the Had, Jubilee asked them to let her help, as she had already defeated the Hand in the past. Psylocke supported the mission and they saved Logan. In later stories, Jubilee would endanger her life by facing the Skrulls, Mojo, and Omega Red, so the X-Men forced her to stay at the mansion on future missions. Despite that, Jubilee and Logan became very close, as the girl needed a father figure, while having a young woman by her side calmed Wolverine's more bloodthirsty side. After recovering from an attack by the villain Strife, Professor Xavier regained the use of his legs. In that short time, Jubilee spent quite a bit of time with him and discovered that he wasn't the uptight man she thought. After his legs began to weaken, Jubilee helped him sit back in his wheelchair, realizing that being there for him meant more to him than anything she could say. Jubilee became good friends with Ileana, Colossus's younger sister. When her friend was diagnosed with the legacy virus, Jubilee spent all her time taking care of her. Unfortunately, Ileana passed away and her death left Jubilee heartbroken. Several weeks later, after Magneto violently removed the adamantium from Wolverine's skeleton, Logan decided to leave the X-Men, fearing that he would be a burden on them. Knowing how much this would affect Jubilee, he wrote her a touching farewell letter and left her his favorite cowboy hat. Feeling like she needed a break from the stress of the mansion, Jubilee volunteered to join a new group of teenage mutants known as Generation X. The team consisted of Banshee, Emma Frost, Husk, Sink, M, Chamber, Skin, and Penance. Both Banshee and Emma Frost educated the teenagers in school subjects, as well as combat and field skills. Jubilee and the other teenage mutants honed their unique abilities and occasionally battled henchmen such as Juggernaut, Omega Red, and Implate. While at Massachusetts Academy, Jubilee was kidnapped and held hostage by Bastion during Operation Zero Tolerance. She eventually escaped and while wandering through the desert, she was attacked by a Prime Sentinel. She was saved at the last minute by Wolverine, who brought her back to the X-Men until she felt comfortable enough to return to Generation X. One of the most important details of his time with Generation X was when he discovered the real murderer of his parents, Hunter Braun. She organized a solo operation, using all her powers, 
skills and abilities to locate Braun. With the help of his friends and teammates, he managed to defeat him. Enraged by how he had destroyed her family, her powers erupted to a massive level. Instead of killing the man, he brought out his aggression and blew up his warehouse, leaving local authorities to arrest him. After Generation X disbanded, Jubilee moved to Los Angeles with her former teammate Skin to become an actress. Unfortunately, she was cast to play Asian stereotypes, and after her agent tried to seduce her, she attacked him with a powerful plasma blast. Around this time, he was offered a position in 10th Corps, a team led by Banshee. During her time in the group, Jubilee stopped an uprising in Paris by blinding hostile enemies. The team also managed to take down Blob and rescue Banshee from Mystique. Jubilee returned to Los Angeles with Skin, but the two, along with Magma and other mutants, were kidnapped and crucified on the front lawn of the X Mansion by the Church of Humanity. Jubilee and Magma recovered from the attack thanks to Angel's healing blood, but Skin and the others were not so lucky. Thereafter, Jubilee went on a few missions with Nightcrawler and Havoc's team, but was suspended when Cyclops noticed she needed a break. Jubilee was contacted by her Aunt Hope, who adopted Jubilee and took her home to Los Angeles. Jubilee attended Peyton Noble High School, but got into several fights due to her powers. He soon discovered that his aunt was a murderer. While Wolverine visited her, the two, along with their aunt, fought against Hope's former boss. Hope was caught in a violent explosion and apparently died, prompting a distraught Jubilee to return to the mansion with Logan. After House of M, Jubilee lost her powers. The girl tried to help the young people who lost their powers, but because she was no longer a mutant, she did not dare to return to the Xavier Institute. After this, he began working as an activist against Congressman Sykes. Jubilee moved to Queens where she operated a safe house for depowered mutants. Jubilee was kidnapped by Arcady and was seriously injured when Logan tried to save her. Wolverine had to surrender to the S.H.I.E.L.D. agents who were chasing him to ensure she received medical treatment. She made a full recovery, but, for a time, she thought Wolverine had abandoned her. Jubilee was invited by Night Thrasher to join a new incarnation of the New Warriors, composed primarily of depowered mutants. This new team was equipped with reverse-engineered technology that gave them new powers to fight crime while also going against the government's registration law, adopted after Civil War. Jubilee assumed the identity of Wandra and was equipped with a power suit capable of lifting a freight train over her head. She acted as second-in-command and was responsible for the team's training sections. After leaving the New Warriors, Jubilee headed back to the West Coast, more specifically to San Francisco, where the X-Men had settled following the destruction of the Xavier Institute. While Pixie and Jubilee were hanging out in Union Square, a vampire suicide bomber exploded nearby, covering the area and Jubilee in blood. Later in Utopia, Drive, Nemesis discovered that Jubilee had been infected with vampire blood that slowly began to control her. After being bitten by Zerus, son of Dracula, Jubilee became a vampire. Wolverine chased her and with the help of Cyclops, they defeated the villain. When Dracula killed Zerus, Jubilee was released into the care of the X-Men and placed in a cell until they found a cure. Jubilee, along with Wolverine and Gambit, briefly teamed up with X-23 when Laura was in Paris. Jubilee helped Laura cope with depression and the two formed a strong friendship. Some time later, he met a group of vampires known as the Forgiven, who taught him to cope with his need for blood and gave him a medallion that helped him resist the light of the sun. Jubilee, now an adult, discovered a baby alone in Budapest. She named him Shogo and brought him back to the Jean Grey school, where he met the other X-Men. Some time later, Storm informed him that the adoption papers had been approved, legally making Jubilee Shogo's mother. Despite her new duties as a mother, Jubilee felt able to become a mentor to the school's younger generation of students. Jono Starsmore, her former teammate in Generation X and New Warriors, assisted her in this task. Bonding during their stakeout walks and through misadventures involving Shogo and his students, Jubilee and Jono became closer and became romantically involved. When the mutant Monet attacked the school, she took away Jubilee's medallion that protected her from sunlight. Witnessing this, 
Quentin Quire sacrificed the fragment of the Phoenix Force he carried within him to cure her of her vampirism and restore her original powers in the process, thus allowing her to confront Monet. In the reality created by Nate Gray, a world where everyone on Earth was a mutant and relationships were strongly discouraged or illegal, Jubilee was a member of Department X, the police force tasked with investigating and arresting dissident mutants. Jubilee later returned to the main reality and was present at the party celebrating the new mutant nation of Krakoa. He met with Shogo and decided to join Excalibur. Sometime later, she asked Mondo and her former Generation X bandmates to join her in an escape room on her birthday. When Skin used his powers to overcome one of the puzzles, the escape room staff realized they were mutants and launched a sentinel at them, while sending staff to attack them. The boys destroyed the robot and returned to Krakoa. Unfortunately, Jubilee was one of the many mutants who died when Orcus and Nimrod attacked the Hellfire Gala. Luckily, Ascani revived her when they were trapped inside the White Hot Room. The future of these heroes seems uncertain for now, but thanks to recent announcements from the mutant comics, we know that Jubilee will be part of a new incarnation of Uncanny X-Men. Only time will tell us what the future holds for Jubilee and the rest of the mutants.